Hey everyone, Nick Shaheen here looking at uh, electric vehicles, EVs. Uh, earlier today, if you're a member, you got uh, my trade setup on NEO as a proxy to trading Tesla. I expected a big move in Tesla or a rebound in Tesla, a surprise move, uh, because technically it's either going to fall below 400, which I don't subscribe to, or it's going to have, it's, it's going to raise eyebrows up or down and I'm eliminating the down scenario as improbable not impossible improbable therefore the up scenario is more likely um, so if somebody told me it, it, I'll buy it at 400 which I've had this conversation this week it was a heated debate um, so it is I would sell them that put at 400 and I would buy a call spread at 700 800 so I think it will hit 800 before 400 if not a thousand but I'm not the guy that toots Tesla's horn. If you've known him for a long time, this is an honest opinion based on the charts itself. Okay, so let's talk fundamentals now. And then the point of this video is not to regurgitate the same trade setup because that was for members only, but it was to, it is to uh, share sentiment on these guys. So first of all, let's go with the facts and then we'll overlay the opinion. Uh, so the fact is that we ha I think the, the world makes like 80 million new vehicles every year. Most of them are inter internal combustion engine, ICE. Uh, so the EV looks like it's the first legit um, challenge to ICE, even though we've had EVs since the 1880s. 1880s. But they've been goofy and clunky and nobody wanted them until Tesla established the fact that, hey, they're cool. Um, Toyota did the same thing bridged the gap uh, with hybrid nobody wanted hybrids they were all goofy looking and then they came out toyota with their prius and they lost money until now everybody wants hybrids and everybody does hybrids same concept tesla kicked the door down did all the hard work um, almost went bankrupt and then now they're a legitimate car company so what about the rest sentiment where is sentiment right now so we do have a tool market structure edge they're pretty cool people i i know some of the people that are at least one guy <laughs> that i met by chance and i'm glad i did because um they do they do provide a cool tool this is going to sound like a commercial for them i don't get paid by them i promise they just let me play with the tool but i'm going to tell you how i used it today so i took a snapshot of their uh, sentiment and i have a basket part of their tool you can establish baskets of whatever you want and here's a my ev basket uh, workhorse hylion uh, fisker neo nikola tesla and xbev i may have missed a few but i don't you know these are the ones i look at and really the ones i trade are tesla and neo so the point is only xpeng hasn't bottomed yet in sentiment so sentiment is a number crunching thing they do in the back and they assign a number to it one to ten one being least love ten most love and from what i'm looking at with tesla when it's at a one i don't fade it um, it's not a buy signal but it's definitely not a sell or short signal uh, so uh, the idea of starting to short tesla here is fraught with danger that's to say the least so you're swimming upstream right there um the fact that the whole group has bottomed so maybe the tide you know how the pendulum goes one way or another so i use it that way as an overlay uh, statement to my trade so i share the trade setup this is backup and and an overlook on so i wouldn't bet on highly on in fact i called it down to this level and lower from way above um workhorse i'm surprised that they would let one order albeit a big one uh, determine the future of a company i haven't looked at it in a little bit plus they own another company that's also ev so all their eggs in one basket that's pretty strange uh, fisker is a niche market lucid their cars are high-end they're definitely not targeting uh, mass markets uh, they start at the high end cost of Tesla as last time I checked. Neo is a legit uh, Chinese centric um, and has the backing of China. So and it trades almost tick for tick with Tesla. You know that from the other video. Uh, Nikola is it a fraud? Is it not? It's a coin flip. Uh, X Bang seems to be the challenger to Neo. 
it's still a tiny fraction of Neo's size, and Neo's uh, small size, uh, small uh, chunk of Tesla size. So I, if I were to rate them as one, two, three, and I'm not trading XBang, um, I gave up on it. So the short interest is, um, if 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 I want to swing it up, I want it lower, but it's not again a determining factor. The only thing I'm using out of this is sentiment swung too far down. They're all ones, so there's enough. There's no almost no love left for the EVs. They went from we love them to we hate them. Uh, Tesla is so active. Like uh, today is 3:30. It's 5:91 low. It's closed at 6:38 almost. So. That's a big range. I don't think there was any headlines. Um, and it tells me from looking at their tool also that the big boys and girls are coming in. And those are usually not fast money. They're usually uh, they're setting up a position to swing it for a period of months. So y even if you don't want to join them, you have to get out of the way. That's my opinion. So using this, um, the, the sentiment tool from Market Structure Edge, I get an extra layer of comfort. First, I have the chart support that tells me that this is a bottom, and if it fails, okay, it's going to 400, but my assumption is it won't fail unless we have a new shooter drop, a new thing that comes out in the whole market. It won't fail alone, but we'll see. This week, it might have a headline of deliveries chip shortage, etc. Et but everybody knows about it, so maybe expectations are too far gone south, which is part of this sentiment. Has it swung too far south on the whole group, except for XBank? Um, all the tools we have, we have to use in this market because <laughs> it's a tricky market to uh, navigate without any tools. Charts are my number one tool. Little brain cells for logic, my number two tool, and then whatever else I can get. In this case, the the sentiment tool, as I call it, which tells me that there might be no froth in the stock price right now because there's um, the lack of interest in it from the sentiment perspective. All right, that's it. Um, if you don't subscribe to this channel, subscribe on YouTube. It's free. And set the alert to tell you when I release stuff. And if uh, you want, you can subscribe to uh, the chat room, which is open all day, every day. And we do this all day. It's a two-way street, very casual, almost 300 people in there. It's not free to be in there, but it is free to try it out. And we do good work. I think it's worth it.